Hello friends, today we will learn four methods to animate a rotating vector using MATLAB. This is the first method. So first we are creating an array of angle between 0 to 360 degree which has 1000 elements. I am using linear space command for that linear space. Next I am creating an array of element x between 0 to cos of angle which has 50 elements. Similarly I am creating an array of elements y between 0 and sin theta with 50 elements. Then I am plotting this xy and then I am using draw now command to animate the rotating vector. Now let us run the code. Here you can see a rotating line which can be considered as a rotating vector. In the second method we can use quiver command. This will draw an arrow between 0 0 and cos theta and sin theta. Let us see the output of this code. You can see a rotating arrow in this case as compared to a rotating line from the previous case. In the third method, we can use polar plot command. In this command, at a given angle, angle K, I am plotting the dots between 0 to 1 using lin space command. So let us see the output of this code. Here also you can see a rotating line which can be considered as a rotating vector. The main advantage here is that we can see the angle and the magnitude of the vector simultaneously. However, this is a bit slow. Make it fast, you can reduce the size of the array angle to 100 and run it again. Now you can see it is much faster. In the fourth method, we can use the compass command, which draws a vector originating from 0, 0 to cos angle sine angle. Let us see the output of this. You can see a rotating vector which moves very fast because we have taken only 100 element in the angle array. If we change this to 1000 and run the code again, now we can see the rotating vector is moving very slow. I will fast forward this video. Now let us plot the rotating vector using all four methods in single figure. Thank you.